What is going on guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the drama between KSI and Logan Paul, Logan Paul and KSI fight, um, and then also Deji and well, Comedy Short Gamer and Jake Paul fight. I'm going to give my thoughts and opinion and whatnot, and um, I'm going to be reacting to this drama alert. So uh, let's get into it. What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a ton of news for you today. KSI versus Logan Paul. This thing has been heating up yesterday. It's so true. I just wish they would just come to an agreement and already set a confirmed date and just show proof that it's actually happening. Get everything settled already. Just, yeah, it's really aggravating because I want to see this happen too. Hey, Logan Paul uploaded a video that got taken down by KSI's team. He uploaded a video titled Hand Delivering Maverick Merch to KSI's Watch that video. Um, it was pretty funny, but um, obviously Logan's at, at Ding Dum and delivered it to um, his parents' house, his parents' and Deji's house, because KSI lives at his Simon house, so you know, I think Logan Paul knows that, but acts like they don't really know KSI that well. House. And it was quickly taken down on copyright grounds by Omni Media. So why exactly was Logan's video taken down? Well, it's because Logan did exactly what his little brother did, Jake Paul. Do you remember last year when Jake Paul hand-delivered merch to Post Malone, showing his cars, his address, his whole house? Yeah, Logan Paul did the same thing to KSI. Logan Paul responded to his video being taken down on Twitter by saying this. Hey, don't worry. I re-uploaded KSI and Omni Media. I got you. Honestly, I can understand the whole thing of not showing your address and not showing um, the license numbers on your cars and whatnot. But in KSI's own videos and whatnot, and they practically show their entire house and show what pretty much where every where it is and whatnot and you could just look it up on Google either way. So it's just it's still wrong to do, but at the same time it's it, it's it's fifty fifty in my opinion. It's stupid but it's also true. Showing that the house and the cars were now blocked out. So as I said, Logan Paul re-uploaded the video, and in the beginning of the video, he said this. Hey guys, future Logan, uh, bad news. KSI and his team, they saw the video. They must have not liked something about it. So they blocked the video. Yes, this is a re-upload, so we've uh, pretty much blurred every part of his house. See, why does, why does he go and say KSI and his team does not like it for some reason when he knows the reason, and then he goes and says the reason right now? I like Logan Paul, don't get me wrong. I am I am a Maverick, but I'm also Team KSI as well. KSI, you're killing me, bro! But you can't take this one down, you silly goose. Now, when Logan Paul re-uploaded this, there was like a warning on the video. I've never seen this before. I'm not sure if it's from YouTube or if Logan put that there himself. But the warning before you watch it says this. The following content has been identified by the YouTube community as inappropriate or offensive to some audience. I think that's just a um, age restriction uh, for certain people. So I'm not exactly sure what that warning's all about. I think the video may be age restricted. Also, yeah. in related Logan Paul KSI news, the two of them met face to face in the Mayweather gym and talked about the potential deal for this boxing match. KSI uploaded the video face to face with Logan Paul and here's how everything went down. Really. I came here to close the deal. Oh, for real? Yeah, let's get a deal done, bro. 
it's funny, I watched both sides of the videos somewhat on, they added different things and, uh, you know, removed certain things that they both said, but, um, hmm. my thoughts and opinions on these bigger YouTubers that have these teams and management, it's like when it comes, when it comes to organizing these events and whatnot, yes, it should be up to the management because that's what their job is. But when it comes to certain deals, like when they're fans and they know it's a big event, they should be able to decide 50-50. When they shake hands in this video, that should just settle it right there and then and their team should get on it right away. Are we sweating or not? Yo, wait, what's up? Why aren't you training, bro? You don't even look sweaty. Yo, you want you to fight me right now? Yeah, bro. You gotta get oh, sweaty, dude. you gotta get in the gym. You're not as tall as people say. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, shit. It's gonna be ugly when we in the ring, though. You came here to close the deal? Okay. Let's close the deal, all right? So let's close the deal, bro. All right. It's hard to take either of them seriously. Like, I don't know. I just feel like with the whole KSI versus Joe Weller, that was actual legit beef. Like, they hated each other down, like, with everything they have. But, uh,. This situation, it's more about views, obviously, and money-wise, but at the same time, I feel like these videos and this beef, I feel like it's fake, like how the Cyberman beef was fake, I feel like it's that, because they're both, they still both at funny and just, they don't seem to really not like each other. Yo, it's easy, alright? You call your team, you tell them 50-50. Logan Paul versus KSI August 25th. What is this? <laughs> what is this? That's the contract. You know? <laughs> what is that? Well, let's get the deal done. Tell your team I mean, where they at. It's your team, bro. No, it's not, it's not bro. Jeff is sleeping. It's your Jeff is not sleeping. My man's right there bro, wide awake. It's Jeff, bro, it's on you then. It's not 50, 50, yeah, what do you 50, mean? 50, it's not 50, 50. You guys came back and tried to throw some stuff in there. No, it's no, 50, it's 50. 50. It should be 50. Okay. 50. Okay. All right, well, let's get it done. Shake his hand. Well, let's get it done. Shake his hand. Well, let's get it done. 50, 50. 50, 50. 50, 50. 50. I'm done with 50. Get down, yeah? 50, 50, get a deal done. August 25th, we fight. Yeah? Yeah. Start training. Oh, start no, sweating. You need to get something. Because I'm coming in. You hot need to train. Trust me. Oh, you need to train. Bro, you weren't ready. I'm going to give you that weather. Yeah, I hope so. Somebody's got to do it. Oh, bro. Really? Somebody's going to get I know, dude. Fuck I'm out, bro. Not, it's you, bro. I don't think so, bro. bro. So why did you joke? Huh? Yo, look up at huh? me. I'm yeah. going to be yeah. down there, bro. There we go. Uh -huh. Now nah, you're going to be yeah, down there. Yeah, you're still going to yeah. be looking up at me, boy. Yeah. You're going to be down there. Sleeping. And just like your team is right now, get the deal done. Go team, sleep. Get the deal done. I'll get the deal done. In my honest opinion, I am Team Maverick, like I said, so this is equally um, true. I've been a fan of both of them for a long time. But I feel like Logan's team is the one slacking on, from everything that I've seen on Twitter and whatnot so far, it seems like KSI's team is actually trying to get this thing done. And it just, Logan, he talks, he talks big and he acts, um, like he's, he, he's a big dude, like, I, personally, me, I wouldn't want to get into a fight with him, but, uh, between him and KSI, I mean, look, they're about the same size, buff-wise, it's hard to tell with the shirt on, but I think also, uh, or buff -wise, muscle wise I think they're both the same size when it comes to that, um, just when it comes to boxing experience, KS High it has more. When it comes to just being in a ring, Logan has more experience because of wrestling. Um, back in high school or college, it was, I believe it's high school, like second in the state, second in the state of Ohio for wrestling. But there's a big difference, especially me, I would know. There's a big difference between boxing and wrestling. Boxing, in my opinion, takes way more skill than wrestling does. You're a YouTuber, bro. Yeah, I'm a hey, YouTuber. I can see it. You, you ain't oh, a real really? Fan. You ain't a real Oh, fan. yeah, but you, you never been hit in the face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, you can wrestle. See, even right there, 
uh, well, let's say, oh, you're a YouTuber, bro. You're both YouTubers. Yes, you like I said before, you've wrestled, but you've never actually fought before. He might have gotten into beef with, like, uh, haters and whatnot, but even Logan went and said, y you don't know that, bro. If he's gotten hit in the fa face before, he'd, he'd go and outright say, oh, yeah, I have been. I cannot wait to see this fight. I'm so pumped. So it sounds like the deal is like done, but is it actually done? Did they sign the contract? No, there's big problems. KSI tweeted out this. Time to stop playing just for views, Logan Paul. You know we have a venue to hold and the terms are simple. Your team simply haven't shown any interest in replying or discussing the deal. Ignoring messages and canceling call. It's true. I, my honest opinion, I feel like that's what. The Paul brothers just seem like they're all about the views and the money, nothing else. I'm announcing who I'm fighting on Sunday, so if you're actually up for it, you have until 5 p.m. Friday, UK time, for your team to actually engage in a conversation and agree things by. That's when Logan Paul fired back with this. Laughing out loud, trying to turn this on me, your team gets the deal done like you train. Lazy and disappointing. Caught you sitting on the couch watching my vids when I came to close the deal. We shook hands on 50-50. Now honor that handshake and quit running from the fight by blaming my team. Woo! Things are getting saucy. Now I can't wait for this deal to be done. So I want to know more. What what's what's the what's the hold up here? Why is this deal not done yet? So I reached out to KSI's management, talked to Stewart. And this is what he said in the DMs. Their team have had terms on the table for almost two weeks, 50-50, and are yet to give any constructive feedback. They need to offer less pantomime and more conversation. Signing of contracts if Logan generally wants this. From our side, we are ready to go and have been trying to engage in conversation with them daily for the last three weeks, but having planned calls constantly canceled by their team. And when we do hear from them, it's one-liners at 4 a.m. UK time. We're yet to have a single line of feedback in writing from Logan's manager. So I'm surprised to hear him saying that we're changing terms. Logan. See, that goes to show right there that KSI's team is willing enough to go and DM Keem about everything when Logan's team is just ignoring everybody and not doing anything about it. That's why... So far, Logan seems, seems more sketchy at the moment. Logan and KSI's management, y'all need to figure this out and figure it out quick. But guys, there is more news surrounding this. KSI today was jumped. KSI tweeted out, got run up on, outside, a in and out today. Say if I'm saying my boxing skills came into play. Dude tried to get a world star in me and ended up looking dumb as fuck. Video coming soon, laughing out loud. And then KSI tweeted out a picture of the incident saying this. Laughing out loud, Ninja was grabbing my dick, weird Donnie. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, I'm glad KSI... <laughs> That's so stupid. I actually saw that video. This is a couple days after, but I actually saw that video and... It was, oh man. It's okay. Now, as soon as we saw this, like in the early morning, we went and did some detective work. We found out the person that attacked KSI that jumped him is a guy known as Prophet Muscle. Apparently some fake UFC fighter. Now, KSI told me he had some footage of this incident of him being jumped. And today he uploaded it on his YouTube channel title. I got ran up on. Here's a clip of what went down. Roll it. Really? Yo. Yo, man. Yo, go, hey. Hey. someone call. Dude doesn't even look like he can fucking fight either. It's it's hilarious. Someone. Yo, JJ. Yo, 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 yo. Come on, come on. What did you learn from Jeff? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, JJ. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 
Look at this dude. <laughs> yo, man. Yo, yo. Go, 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 Yo, yo. Stay down. Are you bleeding? He really wasn't bleeding. And the bitch just runs off like a little pussy. It's funny. Absolutely insane. And again, you know, I'm just glad that JJ's okay. JJ, you're gonna have to hire security. I mean, this is this is insane. Also, Keem's right though. He should go and hire. He should go and hire security. Oh, in the news yesterday, we reported that Tanner Fox said he. Okay, I'm gonna end it right there. But um, yeah, for and Tanner Fox and Phase Rug. I think that would be a good card matchup as well for the like um, card fight. But um, here's my thoughts: KSI versus Logan Paul. I'm fifty-fifty. Both about the same size. Both could be quick at the same like same speed. Um, I'm leaning towards more KSI because it looks like KSI is doing more training when it comes to boxing, at least. Um, but uh, pretty 50-50 for them, too. Deji versus Jake. I would honestly I would honestly go and say Deji just because I don't like Jake. Um, not, a, not a fan of Jake. I'm sub to ch his channel, just not a fan because I only I only follow a lot of these um, YouTubers that I don't watch just for like drama because it's funny to see what they respond to these other YouTubers and whatnot and you know the whole diss tracks and all that. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions on uh, all the boxing matchups. Who do I think should be on on the undercards for? A fight, uh, Face Rug and Tanner Fox. I think for a lightweight match, Face Sensei, um, and Adam Sala, um, and uh, and that's there's a ton of more YouTubers that I know. Uh, I would like to see Furious Pete versus somebody that'd be cool to see, and uh, yeah. That's it from um, who I would want to see in the boxing match. But uh, let me know who you guys want to see. Who do you guys want to win? Who do you guys want to lose? Let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And peace out, guys.